Hey, how's it going, everybody? Charlie Wilson here, a.k.a. Sinister Charlie. Welcome back. Uh, we got some more Mike Burnfire. Uh, thanks, guys, for all the views, by the way, on the uh, uh, Mike Burnfire stuff. It's it's cool, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the new subs, too. Uh, the channel's been taking off pretty good lately, so I'm very surprised and um, happy that things are going well. Um, yeah, and uh, thank you to Mike Burnfire. These videos are awesome. I didn't think I'd like them, but, uh, you know, that's that's the way I thought about the, um, I know I like, liked gig, the Gigug videos, uh, watching them on my own. I didn't think you guys would enjoy me watching, watch them, commenting on them. So, uh, thanks. I don't know how to, else to explain that. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Uh, the hentai incident. This seems up my alley, considering Gigug and all. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a short one. It's like eight minutes, nine minutes, maybe. Uh, I don't know what it is, so let's check it out. I got in trouble when I was, um... At, there's a lot of stories that you say that begin with, I, I got, got in trouble. trouble. Well, this guy gets in trouble a lot. I huh? too, because when I was about 14 years old... Oh, 14. Old, my oh. parents called me downstairs, and they said, Zach, we need to talk to you. I recognize that tone of voice. Uh-oh. Nothing good ever follows these words. Though they... I feel like my parents pranked me at one point because they <laughs> called me downstairs, and they were like... We need to talk to you. And then they revealed that they had bought me a pump action shot. Oh, that's pretty sweet, Yay! dude. <laughs> that's Best awesome. Best 12th birthday ever. I think I actually got a 22 long rifle for my 12th birthday. Come on. <laughs> wish, wish my parents were cool like that. My parents called me downstairs one day and they said, Zach, we need to talk to you. And they just had a stack of seven or eight pages of hentai. Cool. <laughs> printed off of the computer. Why did you print? Why? Where did okay. you store these normally? I didn't save any of them. I would print them off. Uh, but apparently, uh, in my rush to close down the computer because my parents had gotten home and I was... It's okay, dude. We all look at a little hentai on the DL. Uh, not so much these days, but uh, I used to. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Nah, anyway. Like, I must Sorry. throw up all evidence. <laughs> I don't know what I was feelings. gonna say to that. Yeah. So um, you closed it down, but there were still jobs pending? So the next time they turned on the computer, it just started going blip, 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 and nice. blasting out pictures of Tifa just buck naked. <laughs> tentacles everywhere. Wasn't into tentacles yet. <laughs> the tentacles would come later. <laughs> Both literally and metaphorically. <laughs> the thing was, I don't think they knew what anime was, let alone that cartoons could even be like that. <laughs> yeah. So they were just more confused. <laughs> what is this? Why are they? Why are these cartoon women naked? What are we looking at here? Can you explain this? What? How did? You the way I'd explain it to him, it's like uh, I'd be like, "Hey, it's kind of like a pinup models, you know? They're not real, but you know, they're fun to look at. I don't know, something like that. Something to get me out of that awkward situation. <laughs> uh, yeah." you explain it to them i think i was just so traumatized by the event of my parents <laughs> finding some of my porn that i blanked most of it from my memory and that was when clever zach had an idea a most devious idea he said to his parents oh mother these are instructional drawings on how to behave what? around women were i a tentacle monster <laughs> i'm <Okay>. learning <laughs> i'm learning <laughs> don't print these out anymore <laughs> Whatever you're doing, stop. stop. <laughs> no. No more of this, please. No more of this, please. <laughs> I did. I did get caught at one point because I, this was before I knew about search history or like oh, the no. internet browser history. <laughs> yeah. They found out that I had gone to a bunch of pornographic websites. Uh oh. Gasp. Not hentai, pornographic <laughs> websites. Double gasp. With actual women this time. I remember one of them had covered herself in spaghetti yeah. sauce. Well, I mean, yeah, it's par for <laughs> in the a course. In a manner. Not even marinara sauce. Disgusting. spaghetti Disgusting. It was chunky. Whore! <laughs> Your parents were mildly happy that the women were real this time. This was before oh. the, the hentai incident, <laughs> um, which shall be referred to as the hentai incident. <laughs> the tentacle apocalypse. There weren't any tentacles in it. <laughs> Okay. It wasn't until later. <laughs> One of them, Tifa was wearing a cattail, and the cattail was going places, but it wasn't a tentacle. Mm -hmm. I seem to remember lots of 
images of Tifa, even though I didn't like Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> I <think> I <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I wasn't a big fan of Final Fantasy VII either. Um, the first Final Fantasy game I ever beat was Final Fantasy IX. That was my favorite one. And then later, Final Fantasy X. And I play that every once, I, at like once or twice, once every year or two, I'll play Final Fantasy X as a goof. Because it's, it's a funny game. I don't know. I think I just like Tifa. Voice acting mm, is amazing. Yes. Why wouldn't you? She's the protagonist, isn't she? I don't know. I've not played that game. I don't know why I've never played it. <laughs> why does her computer say that it went to these pornographic websites? And I said, hmm. oh, no. I am such a young and innocent boy. <laughs> I was on this website here that talks about Star Wars. And there's this advertisement <laughs> here. Mm -hmm. And it just started uh -huh. popping up things for this website. Mm -hmm. Because pop-ups are a thing. Yeah. Boy, they sure are. It started popping up. It certainly was not me. You're good and innocent <laughs> child. And they bought it. <laughs> and they went, okay, well, don't go to that website anymore. And I said, of course, my dear parents, I would never do such a thing. And then the next night I was down there looking at the <laughs> computer again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for how much my uh, uh, mom was... Uh... You know, my mom and dad were divorced, but for how much my mom was pretty uh, open-minded, man, she drew a line at that porn shit. Uh, it's like, I, I, look, I'm I'm a I'm a 15 year old boy, and we have the internet. What do you think's gonna happen? <laughs> but it always we had the computer the in the living room. When you've at least. got an actual um, virus or something on your computer that would cause those pop-ups to appear nonstop. Oh, jeez, uh, that was a real plague back in the day. That's how I learned how to fix things on computers because something like that would happen and I'd be like, I don't know what the hell to do. And so I'd go out. This naked lady keeps popping up every five minutes. This is not good. This is not what I'm supposed to have happen. This laptop is only supposed to be for schoolwork. <laughs> and going... we're not at the chapter where we study naked ladies having sex. <laughs> this is a microbiology class. I'm going to get in so much trouble. We had the the kids' laptop that was a Toshiba laptop. Ooh, Toshibas. A Toshibas are good. Garbage, but hey, I like the them. Internet. <laughs> and Toshibas used to be would good. Happen on it, I don't and know I would if they, like, they oh, are anymore. Oh shit! Close the laptop, hide it somewhere, and then go onto the family computer and be like, "Pop ups not stop happening. How fix?" <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, "Oh uh, yeah, just hit Control Delete and just like close the program down." Oh my God! Open the laptop up. <laughs> Suddenly, I turn into a hacker, and I'm just bashing away <laughs> at keys. It's crazy how much porn runs the universe. It's the hentai hour. Uh, my name is Zach. Uh, welcome to the hentai oh. hour. The, this week's offering is by the, the uh, mangaka, uh, Dr. P. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's a really excellent story about a, uh, a young boy who falls in love with a girl from his school who he wrongfully assumes is a member of the Yakuza. <laughs> Is that a real thing? That is a real thing. It's one of my favorite oh, ones. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a favorite. I like so, them all. The problem, the problem with hentai, it's very rarely these two characters are in love. Also, they have sex in this story. That, that you could stop right there and it'd be enjoyable for a lot of people. I, I, hentai comics that are like that are great because it's just like I'm really happy that these two characters are in love and they get to consummate their relationship. Yeah, Look one's at these not a squid. Two human beings enjoying life together, sharing a sensual, candid moment with each other. Not every hentai needs to show the penis from the vagina's point of view. <laughs> That's always kind of weird. The ones, yeah. the ones that I don't like is it's yeah. like. Oh, look at this young couple in love. They care about each other so much. Well, also, kind of, it's kind of boring. Fat, ugly guy who's oh, just yeah. going to steal this girl away. I think it's uh, the category is called ugly bastard. If you uh, anybody cares to know, <laughs> I know too much. Because he knows some information about her. God damn it! I don't want to read this anymore. It's all. There is a problem with porn in general, where there's too many guys involved. There's a one woman and one guy, still too many guys. You don't have to make him 300 pounds, though. I, God, we are just getting so far into See, talking about hentai. Because when you make him 300 pounds, but the girl's only 100, that means 75% of the sex is guy. <laughs> yeah, this is great. Look how in love these two characters are. Who's this big fat guy? I, honestly, I don't think that's seventy five percent though. I think that's sixty six percent. If one of the people in the porn 
does not look like they're having a good time, <laughs> I am out. Yeah. I do not want to have anything to do with that. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. I've, I've watched porn before and been like, yeah, yeah, I can get into this. I, I have watched a porn. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you, Zach? <laughs> Tonight's big news. Zach watched a porn. <laughs> I have watched Millions of lives have been shattered. Millions dead. <laughs> What chain of events went from? <laughs> uh, apparently, it was the porn that summons Cthulhu. Oh, okay. It's a lot of porn. We're all familiar <laughs> with that. a lot of porn. Just uh, the right amount of tentacle porn that, when the I stars guess. align and Cthulhu will emerge from the dreaming city of Roulette and lay waste to mankind. Ugh, the Necronomicum. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. I like that. All right. There you go. Uh, more campfire stories. These are good, man. Highly entertaining. Um, yeah, I would probably, uh, if I wasn't watching them doing reactions to them, I'd probably fall asleep to some of these. Just, you know, I, I, I like a little white noise when I fall asleep. So, all right. I'll just let you guys know how I fall asleep. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah. Uh, Mike Burnfire. Go sub. He needs, he needs me to tell you to go sub course uh did i like that hold on a second Ooh, i did okay cool all right uh yeah thanks guys for watching um yeah please likey and subscribey and uh if you got any suggestions put them in the comments and uh, this is how i found these videos from suggestions uh yeah they tend to work out so i appreciate all the love and support and um yeah i'll be back